The year was 1984, and I was the senior producer of computer games at Activision. One day, I got a call from Caritha Coleman, my boss Ken Coleman's wife, and she told me that she had recently met a young programmer working at Stanford that had some great ideas. She thought I should meet him. I met Brody Lockhart at Stanford the next day, and we had a great talk. However, his interest was in educational products, and I was a producer for games. We parted company, but not before I told him, if you ever have a game idea, please let me know. He said he would. A couple of months later, Brody called to say that he had a game to show me, and asked if I could come by his home and take a look at it. We agreed on Christmas Eve morning. When I arrived, he introduced me to his mom, Dorothy, and then showed me a stack of mahjong tiles built in the shape of a turtle. He said, this is a very popular game in China. The objective is to remove all of the tiles by matching two tiles at a time. It's not as easy as it sounds. The problem is you have to build the turtle to play the game. I wondered if I could create the game on the Macintosh and then the computer could build the stack every time you wanted to play. Brody then showed me the game on his Mac. The graphics were beautiful and the gameplay was simple and compelling. I was very interested. I told Brody that I loved the game, but I needed to take a copy back to Activision to show it to a few more people. He said that was fine if I'd sign a non-disclosure agreement. I agreed. He looked at his mom and said, please bring me my stick. I haven't mentioned that Brody was a quadriplegic, who as a Stanford gymnast had broken his neck on a fall from the trampoline. He had no control over any part of his body below his neck. As he filled in the non-disclosure agreement by tapping on the keyboard of his Mac with the stick held in his mouth, it dawned on me that he had programmed this entire game, including the gorgeous Mahjong graphics, by tapping on his computer keyboard with the stick he was holding in his mouth. What a demonstration of courage, commitment, and determination. To say I was impressed doesn't reflect the awe and wonder I truly felt. I took the game back to Activision and the rest is history. Brody's game spawned a whole new genre of computer games, Solitaire Mahjong, and Shanghai became one of, if not the most successful computer games in history. Almost 40 years later, his game is still a passionate addiction for computer gamers all over the world. Thank you.